That's why uh, yoga is so nice, is it, it pumps the lymphatic cells, it pumps the organs. So basically you get a belly breathing going and then when you start working into the adductors, you can superset some yoga move in this. So like a cobra or a downward dog or whatever you like. I usually recommend that people superset a cobra with Magnus release. So you're trying to unlock this belly breathing and then unlock the organs, unlock the Magnus, unlock that. And why the cobra is it also stretches the psoas. And I'm not a big uh, programmer of people to dig in their own psoas because there's lots of organs there. If you do, then that's because you're one-on-one -on -one and I'm through. So, um, okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll do a combination of magnets rolling on our little coffee tables, our mini coffee tables. And then uh, we'll do cobras uh, to stretch the psoas and the organs and we're belly breathing the whole time. So the technique is really simple. All you're going to do is you're always going to need something elevated. Mo the best is always a, a high coffee table. And basically what you're doing is you're going to find the ridge of fascia that the adductor uh, attaches to on the bone or just what hurts. This is just a just what hurt thing because so often the magnus is so built up big, voluminous and not right and stuck to the hamstrings and not working on how it's attached to the femur that the whole thing just sort of a mess. So don't look for quality in terms of like, where does he mean? Just basically uh, plunge into the inside of your leg. It should hurt. If it doesn't, then kind of move around a minuscule amount because you can find a lot of pressure and tension. And then basically lean your, your torso slightly towards the leg to create a lot of pressure. And then all you're gonna do is basically nudge it forward about two millimeters, and then it should be immensely painful. I think you need to be a bit more open. I think you need to be a bit less open. So more, yeah, uh, yeah, more forward on the leg. No, you're more hamstrings right now, so. It's the belly breathing intensity. Yeah. If you chest breathing, you get more parasympathetic. You more the, the pumping of the organs? Okay. So let's just use a theory of, uh, we're pumping lymphatic fluid, we're putting a lot of compression into the fascial chain of where the organs nest, mm -hmm. and if you're pressing on the magnus, the first thing you're going to do is not breathe. So you're going to go, 30 seconds, so what you're going to do is, is pump the, the stomach, because we're actually also wanting this to loosen off the psoas, and we want the organs to get a lot of perfusion as we're... Uh, Kind of crushing into deep, yeah. deep slow belly breaths. Yep. So through the nose, out the nose would be ideal, and, and it's really a boring move, but it should hurt a huge amount. If it doesn't, then keep trying to wedge it differently. Um, it, it should be quite painful. Oh, yeah. So big slow belly breath in and out. Let's do that for about say five. Let's say let's do five good breaths. Do some torso movement if you're not finding it right. You don't need necessarily to move the roller if you've lost it. You just basically nudge your torso like a few inches this way or move your head a few inches that way and then suddenly there you are again. <laughs> or you could move your foot a quarter inch. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, let's say I've done three breaths. You got enough out of it? Yeah? Yeah, painful. Okay, so let's say there's five. So then what I would immediately recommend you superset with it, and you could do this at home also, would be two variants of cobra. One could be your lazy cobra, which would be legs on the ground like this. So it would be a partial psoas stretch, a real belly opening, lifting up, and then an athletic cobra, which would be toes on the ground, fully flexed out glutes, and doing the same thing. And I would try to do a full in out on each one. So basically the noodly loose one first. Let's do two breaths each time. Okay. And then the full athletic one. So full toes, dorsiflex feet, super flex glutes. Really nice stance. Okay. And then we go back to the release. 
Now the way that this will get interesting and everyone will probably feel free. Same side? Uh, yeah, let's stay the same side again. Um, and so we're going to pump the magnus with the roller. We're going to do an opening with the cobra, with the breathing. And then when we get into a nice finishing move on this whole deep front line, is we're going to combine rolling of the back, so to try to loosen up the spine. And then we're going to do self-treatments to the jaw and self-treatments to the head. That should work. Is that open? You know, five weeks, three times a week, whatever, every time? Uh, uh, just be getting into this, or just do like your whole front line one time? Uh, yeah. deep front, this deep front line thing that I pass on to people is a, a real, real important thing if you're trying to optimize your training. Like if you're thinking of uh, really pushing maximally on lifts, and you don't want to run into a sudden issue with your back, or if you're really, really uh, you know, you got lots of time and you're thinking, you know, I want to really grow to a new level with my uh, performance somehow. You want to do this once a week for trying to reset your organ fascia and trying to reset your deep groin. If you didn't, you could go see someone to plunge into your Magnus, who's a hard worker, but it's a terrible experience. Um, someone working with their elbows and thumbs right up close to your uh, groin and stuff is not a great fun time and they usually push way too hard, I find. So if they do go in there, then they're too aggressive and pokey. So then this way we can manage the bunch unit directly. So let's, uh, we're on the same leg, so closer up now to the uh, attachment, initial tuberosity sort of area. So we'll go closer up into, uh, you know, the, closer to the pelvis, more of the attachment, and same sort of thing, we'll go for five breaths. Yeah, well, basically when you know it, all, all shear becomes is you put a compression and then you're, all I'm doing is I'm just dragging my body forward like, I don't know how much, I mean maybe just a half a centimeter, it's almost nothing. But then when I'm forward, I've sheared some tissue and then I compress down just by flexing my core a bit and it's different somehow, as opposed to just um, being in a more painful, non-sheared location. The reason the science uh, to do it is we're just trying to access more bellies and more layers since we're here and since we're taking the time. So I just sort of go forward and then down. And remember, you can always just move your head a wee bit and then suddenly it's going to create a totally diverse, different vector of force down into the roller and uh, change it all. Big belly breaths, try to do it. Big, expansive diaphragm opening. Pull the diaphragm down and let it shear off the rib cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you do it right on the noodley version, so the noodley version is technically the yoga one. And if you look up and then you do a proper breath, you should be able to fear a little something. If you can't, then just look one way or the other so that your head pulls the fascia up towards where we're going to end with doing the masseter and the temporalis. So another connection of that line. So you kind of go one side or the other. You should feel it down into rear cage. And then go athletic one, the big flex. That one you should feel your psoas. Hopefully. Now go to the other leg. And there, I mean, there's visceral massage therapists that work in organs. A lot of the KMI practitioners through Thomas Myers do a lot of vigorous organ massage. Um, there's a whole entire division of uh, massage therapy that's just organ massage. I can't remember the name right now, but I've received a few treatments of that. It can be very, very weird stuff. Visceral manipulation? Yeah, no, there's an actual, okay. it's really long, I think it's like a Chinese name, several words that I can't pronounce properly. Um, we've had it done, but it's, I mean, they'll plunge into your spleen and sort of like rub it, and then they go over and go through your small intestine, and <laughs> it's quite, a, quite an eye-opener for sure. 
So just try to do five breaths again, and then when you have done five breaths, then jump down, do your two variants of Cobra, and then jump back up and do one version closer on Magnus. Two breaths. 